In this video, I'm comparing two giants of the WordPress ecosystem, the Proxy Theme Premium version and the Pro version of the Cadence Theme. They are both popular, powerful, feature-rich themes known for their flexibility and extensive customization options. However, it's essential to note details about specific features, updates, or differences between their Pro versions. I've been working with them for more than two years now, so I'm comfortable with them. This is not a sponsor video, this means I'm not promoting either of them. Let's go! The Cadence theme is a mobile responsive WordPress theme renowned for its lightweight design and rich features offering extensive flexibility and customization options for building impressive WordPress sites. Operating on a freemium model, it has a free version and a premium counterpart called Cadence Pro. The key features of Cadence Pro includes a user-friendly header and footer builder, a pre-made starter template, an impressive page and post layouts, and more. The free version is a suitable choice for beginners, despite some feature limitations. In contrast, Proxy is a mobile, responsive, and SEO-optimized WordPress theme. It stands out for its lightweight design and fast performance. Crafted with the latest technologies, it ensures a seamless web experience. As a 100% Gutenberg blog-based theme, it provides all the features for a content temporary website. Following the premium model, Bloxy offers both a free version and a premium Bloxy Pro called the Companion plugin, and while it shares common features with Cadence, Bloxy has distinct advantages explored further in the video. Cadence met its de debut in the WordPress repository approximately in August 2020 and has garnered an impressive 200,000 active installations and since then, a Cadence WP has consistently held a position among the top 10 most favored WordPress themes. In contrast, Bloxy was initially introduced in February 2019 and presently boasts over 100,000 active installations. And while this figure is off of Cadence, Proxy is steadily gaining momentum. The installation process of both of the premium versions follows a similar procedure. You download the zip file from the website and then you upload to your WordPress website to finally activate the license. Once you have uploaded the Pro versions, you open the plugins tab to enable or disable the Pro features they offer. So the process is straightforward and very similar here as to start the templates ready to be used with the Bloxy Premium theme. At the time of this video, you will get a total of 28 Bloxy started sites to choose from. Almost all starter sites work with Gutenberg, Elementor, and are free to use. While with the Cadence theme, you have access to 74 site templates. However, you will need to install their starter templates plugin by Cadence theme. And once you install it, the procedure of choosing your starter templates is this little bit different, but functional. You can make use of any of these three filters to run a quick search in order to find your specific template, or you can search by your specific WordPress theme. At the top right corner, the Cadence theme offers this toggle option allowing to determine if you want to go with Gutenberg or Elementor page builder. There is one particular detail I want to mention here about the Cadence theme import feature that the Black Sea theme does not offer yet. For example, let's suppose I want to import a template. Cadence not only offers you the option to import a full site, it also offers the ability to 
only import a single page layout. Moving on, let's talk about now the Cadence Team Pro key features. When it comes to global settings that are applied across your website, the Cadence Theme comes with global settings for colors, typography, and buttons or call to actions and layouts. It offers Google Fonts subsets this control over here, which is the practice of creating subset of a font, a file that contains a custom and usual limited collections of glyphs. It also offers the header builder with 70 elements to the header builder. And this is truly insane what you can create with such great number of elements. You can also schedule and expire elements and this is a pro available feature, conditional header to display your custom header throughout your website. It has excellent design layouts, related posts with carousel feature, a sticky footer, infinite scroll for archives, and hooked elements, which is a powerful feature to allow you to insert webhooks and functionality throughout your website. Please note, I have on my YouTube channel two playlists dedicated to Broxy and Cadence themed theme on how to customize your site with, with these premium features. So I encourage you to look for them on this YouTube channel. Anyway, I will leave a source link for you in the description box down below. The Bloxy theme has just released a new version of the Bloxy theme, the Bloxy 2.0. And this is a major update to the free and pro version. This is the full list of the improvements made to Bloxy using the free version. And if my math is not wrong, at least 22 new improvements, ranging from color management system to WooCommerce, new exciting features. I'm showcasing you two real use case examples done with this new Bloxy 2.0 version. By the way, check my latest Bloxy theme video, during which I show you an overview of these improvements. Link will be at the description box. So, for example, within the footer builder, there is now the ability to add a logo element to the footer area. So let's do this. I delete this widget area. I drag and drop the logo elements. You select the logo. I have already uploaded my random logo. This one. You can also position the logo image position to left, right or top. I like the way it is. And you can also can also set the logo height with this slider. We can assign to be an inline SVG file. Another new feature is the ability to add a drop down menu for account widget in header. I have already done so, but let's start from scratch. So I delete the account element. I select it from this left panel. I drag it to my main row. You can drag it to position as you want. You have two options. The account action can be as a drop down or as a link. And if you select the link option, you need to determine here what link page you are using. And if you open the new dashboard area, the Bloxy 2.0 has now a product review. You can configure the slugs for the single and category pages, the trending posts to highlight your most popular posts or products based on the number of comments or reviews, and has two pro extensions. We now have the shop extra extension with a, with a lot of new exciting features, the floating Card, a quick view mode, filters, wish list feature 
compare view, a product share box, advanced gallery, a search by SKU, the free shipping, variation swat swatches, and much more. The content blocks of Bloxy are a powerful feature that lets you easily insert and design any piece of content you might think of dynamically throughout your website. And it is the equivalent to the Cadence Elements feature. In Cadence, there are four types of Cadence Elements to help you customize the look of your page. You can insert sections, affix items, templates, or use the last option if you are a more advanced user. And this means you can design an entire page from scratch with Cadence blocks, for example, and assign it to whatever location you may wish based on your conditions. And this is powerful. In Bloxy theme, there are only available three options, the, the custom content, a custom pop-up builder, and an entire template. Header and footer areas are crucial WordPress theme functionalities, and they both follow the standard process to offer a separate header builder and footer builder. The new Bloxy 2 Hell footer builder now offers the possibility to insert natively the logo element and with Bloxy Premium version, the header builder has now 90 elements. With Cadence Pro version, the header builder offers two less elements, only 70 elements. And with the Pro version of Bloxy theme, you can clone five elements from the list. You can clone buttons, you can clone contacts, you can clone content block, divider, HTML, and the clone icon is this icon over here, which means you can create duplicate elements to place anywhere among the three header rows. And with the pro version of Cadence, you don't have this option. Another difference is the conditional headers functionality within Cadence and Bloxy Pro versions. And this allows you to create custom headers to be displayed in some areas of your pages. The functionality is both locator under the header, and this is the Bloxy headers, global header, and then you click to create a new header, right? So the main difference is that with Cadence, you have the chance to set your custom header with expiring settings, which means that the header will automatically disappear after your period of time when promoting your products and services. So, in conclusion, to me, the Bloxy theme offers more functionality option features, whether in the footer or header builder. When it comes to layouts, let's check which one offers more design layouts. In Cadence theme, the default page layout, we have available five different options, whereas with Bloxy, we have available four default page layouts. And while they differ in terms of the width, the main difference is that with Bloxy Pro, you don't have an option to set a full width page layout. However, you can work around this by creating a single post template with the content block feature with a full width. Social sharing is viral these days, and the Cadence Team Pro does not provide natively this item. To access the sharing box, you need to have a Cadence Premium Bundle license in order to use this item. And with Cadence Bundles, you have access to simple share item to simply sharing your products or services to social media networks. In contrast, in Bloxy Themes, you have this item with much more options to customize. If you enable, you can choose your preferred design based on the bottom styles. You can define the module title, the share networks, the icon size, the visibility. Plus, with a single toggle, you can define to Google that to not follow the sharing operation. So to me, I do think the Bloxy theme provides much more customization options to style your design.
When it comes to the author box item, they both provide this option. However, the option diverge. And let's get into this. With block C, you have at your dis disposal two possible box types. You are allowed post count as well as the author social icons and to open the links in a new tab, which is recommended and to control the container in a spacing. Whereas in cabins, you are allowed to show text and to set the element alignment. In short, with Bloxy, we have natively implemented this useful feature to display the number of posts written by an author with the more customization options. Having a standard author page is a must these days because we need to build trust and authority within our niche. Bloxy dedicated author page provide generic features in order to customize the page, such as the five options to choose to the structure, as well as the card options to display the meta tags, information, or in a sidebar. Sadly, with Cadence Team Pro, there is no such option. You will have to build on your own by using the Cadence blocks or with the Cadence element functionality. Starting with the proxy theme, when you activate the post types extra extension, you have the chance to have the reading progress bar to be displayed while your user is in the single post. And moreover, with this activation of the post ex extension, you have the ability to add custom fields, to archive cards and feature image. So overall, you have the ability to implement dynamic content at your website with this extension. In contrast, the Cadence Team Pro does not provide this feature to improve the user experience by giving readers a visual indicator of their progress through a post. Related post is a strategy to easily reduce the overall bounce rate in your site. Cadence and Bloxy provide this in their themes. However, the approach is different. In Cadence, you, you get a simple toggle switch to enable or disable with an option to set the number of related post columns and to endlessly display a loop related carousel. In Proxy theme, there are a ton of multiple customization options. Options such as to set the number of columns and posts per device, to set the future image to sort this by recent, most common, random, or default. Sticky sidebar functionality usually contain helpful links, ensuring users can navigate the site with greater ease, make it an integral part of any website. Both themes provide this feature. The Cadence theme provides control to manipulate the width and the spacing of the item with an extra option to display the last item. However, you can only display one single sticky sidebar. In Bloxy theme, this works differently. In Bloxy, you can add multiple sticky widgets to the sidebar of your site. You can define three sticky widgets. You can set the sticky behavior to the entire sidebar or to the last three widgets. And another great feature is the ability to set the sidebar visibility per device, per desktop, smartphone or iPhone and set the mobile sidebar position to top or bottom. When it comes to WooCommerce features, both themes provide amazing features when it comes to WooCommerce. Their approach is different though. This is the Caden layout and the main features such as the sticky card Ajax had to card, the sales badge, the product gallery, the wish list functionality, and more are only available with the premium versions. And some key major differences between them include the store notice and single product layouts. The store notice feature 
in cadence is a site-wide message to display at the front end and the message is deter determined by the site owner. Uh, the main difference is that with cadence you activate the option to display the store message and you can display it above the hang over top, above or bottom. Plus you can also enable this button to dismiss the disable button. Comparing to proxy, these options are not available. The single product layout in cadence. When it comes to the single product layout, the main differences between the two themes involve the following. With cadence, they provide five different single product page layouts. In contrast, with proxy, they only provide four different page layouts. Moreover, with Cadence Pro Theme, you have 10 product elements, whereas in Bloxy Theme, the number of options are of 60 product elements. And this is a good surprising aspect to a single product page design. In Cadence, there is an option to display an icon for the free shipping section. This one, you can choose five different icons, while in Bloxy theme, there is no such option to add an icon to the shipping feature. However, with Bloxy, you can set to display this free product availability when the cart is empty. For the product catalogs and gallery options, the two themes provide similar customizations. Cadence is more generous, providing five different design layouts, while the Bloxy theme only offers three different design layouts. For people who like the parallax effect, the Bloxy theme provides under the page title here, and then scroll down, as, as I was saying, they provide the parallax effects. And you can set it based on the device types for desktop, smartphone, or mobile. You can set it the image size to be full width or with this vast array of options. And with Cadence, you cannot set the parallax effect unless you write custom code. Now, for the gallery display options, if you open up the single product in Bloxy theme, you will find the product gallery option. And so this means you can showcase a gallery with extra great features, such as the ability with, to display with a light box or with a zoom effect applied to the gallery or even to be a sticky gallery. And all of these options are not available with the Cadence Theme Pro. In Cadence, you can set the product images and the thumbnail width, but you don't actually have these advanced options as the Bloxy theme offers. Two more features I want to mention here is the product wish list and the product swatches features with the Bloxy theme released yesterday. A wish list is a powerful feature to increase the user engagement, and this feature allows your users to save their favorite products. Having said that, by default, with the new update of Bloxy theme released yesterday, as I said before, you can use right away this functionality. And you also have the chance to show the wish list to login users or to all users, which means logins and logouts. And you also get this specific product variation option to activate it in case you want to showcase this wish list functionality to a specific product variation to a wish list. Unfortunately, with Cadence, we don't have these options. You will need to install a wish list plugin to get the job done. Alongside with the new wish list feature, you can now display by default product swatches, by color, by image, 
and button swatches. By the way, I have covered all of the Bloxy 2 Ho new features in my previous Bloxy videos, so check video link in the description box. Both themes are an extension to the new WordPress Gutenberg editor. With Cadence theme, you get blocks to add custom blocks designed to create stunning websites. Cadence fully integrates with popular builders such as Elementor, Beaver Builder, Breezy. It's WooCommerce ready with extra features built in and it performs well. And recently they, they have updated their Y interface. Altogether, it's a good solution. Bloxy, on the other hand, has been built to be 100% compatible with the Gutenberg editor and Bloxy. Bloxy theme is worth every single penny. All new features significantly reduce the number of plugins required, particularly the WooCommerce features. Bloxy is compatible with modern plugins like Elementor, Cadence, GreenShift, Spectra, Stackable, WooCommerce, among others. They both follow a premium model, meaning you get the free versions and to use their pro versions you will need to pay for. The pricing tiers for Cadence Theme Pro and Bloxy Theme includes three, three pricing tiers and the specific features included in each plan and the pricing details might vary, so it's essential to visit the official Cadence and Bloxy websites. In terms of performance and speed, which is crucial these days, Bloxy theme uses code splitting, which means it only loads JavaScript when you really need it. Here are the provided features to improve performance in Bloxy. You can have, you can set the dynamic CSS output to control how the, the dynamic CSS generated by the customizer is loaded. By default, the code will be saved inside a global CSS to be loaded on the site front end. You can also set to disable the image script and all of these ton of customization options, lazy load, post page title, feature image, and so on. Cadence, on the other hand, they provide these four options to enable the scroll to ID to replace the browser's jumping behavior, to enable the light box, to load the Google fonts locally, and to enable CSS preload to provide more granular loading control. Both themes are great in terms of features and visual appearance. The new Bloxy way is awesome. All I can say is that all the new features significantly reduce the number of plugins required, particularly the WooCommerce features. Bloxy theme new version has more features and functionalities and is well coded. The decision between the two is difficult, I know. Here are my thoughts to you, to help you. To me, Cadence theme suite is best suited for building up a blog while the Bloxy theme would be a perfect fit for an e-commerce site or an affiliate or business site for design and customization options although both of the themes are packed with tons of customization options i think the bloxy theme new version offers more design and customization options especially when it comes to e-commerce sites with the new Bloxy update, you reduce significantly the plugins number in your site. So, what are your thoughts on Cadence or Bloxy theme to go? I would love to read the comment from you on this matter. Leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I will be doing more Bloxy theme videos pretty soon. Stay tuned. My name is Natalie. I will catch you in the next video.